Hello and welcome. This is your freaking favorite medical channel, Medicosis Perfectionalis. Today we'll talk about vitamin B2 mnemonic. In previous videos, we have talked about the vitamin B2 itself. We have talked about the enzymes and we've talked about the deficiency. Today we have a great mnemonic. So here's the mnemonic, but if you haven't already watched my previous video in this playlist called Biochemistry, there is no hope for you to understand anything. Vitamin B2 mnemonic. Name is riboflavin. This is the F mnemonic. Sources, many governments require that you fortify the bread and pasta with riboflavin. And then, fish, eggs, yeast, mushroom, etc. What are the uses? You can put it on your face if you have corneal lactation, not face, I mean the eye. Or you can use it to filter the blood. By filter, I mean sterilization. Both of these are followed by UV light. And then you can use riboflavin for patients who suffer from ariboflavinosis, this is vitamin B2 deficiency, which is characterized by inflammation of the tongue called glossitis, inflammation of the mouth called stomatitis, inflammation of the angle of the mouth called angular stomatitis, and inflammation of the lips, chelitis. Vitamin B2 deficiency can also lead to fatigue. Why? Because vitamin B2 deficiency can lead to iron deficiency, which will lead to iron deficiency anemia. Usually, this is normocytic normochromic, at least in this situation. What are other uses for riboflavin? You can give it to patients who suffer from MADD. This is multiple acyl-CoA dehydrogenase deficiency. Why is that? Please watch my previous video. It has to do with the beta oxidation, baby. The mnemonic is not over yet. Now let's talk about the actual function of B2 in your body. It's a precursor for FAD and FMN. Never ever ever forget that. FMN is helpful in the electron transport chain, especially complex 1, and FAD is for the same electron transport chain but complex 2. Please watch my previous video. Also, do not forget the Tiflon company. Do you remember the five cofactors for many dehydrogenase enzymes, such as the pyruvate dehydrogenase? Of course, what was the T? Thiamine. What was the F? FAD, which comes from riboflavin. What was the L? Lipoic acid. What was the N? NAD, which came from niacin. What was the CO? The CO-ash. And vitamin B2 is helpful as a cofactor for pyruvate dehydrogenase as well as succinate dehydrogenase, which gets the succinate and converts it to fumarate. But for this, you need FAD to become FADH2. Also, B2 is helpful to convert tryptophan to niacin. It's also a cofactor for the methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase. All of this was mentioned in previous videos. Also, B2 is a precursor for FAD, which is a cofactor for fatty acyl-CoA dehydrogenase. This is beta oxidation. This converts the palmitoyl-CoA into trans-fatty enoyl-CoA, and this will lead to acetyl-CoA, and acetyl-CoA is the hero. It gets into the Krebs cycle. Boom, you have energy. By the way, do you know beta oxidation of fatty acid? Yeah, heard about it. It happens in the mitochondria, just to let you know. But... Glucagon can actually stimulate this process. Where does glucagon come from? From the pancreas. Please be specific. Endocrine or exocrine? Endocrine. Please be specific. Alpha cells, beta cells, delta cells. What, what, which ones? The alpha cells. How about the beta? Those are for insulin, not for glucagon. Would insulin stimulate beta oxidation? Stop it. It will inhibit the beta oxidation. Insulin wants you to store fat. Insulin does not want you to burn fat. Biochemistry makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. A testimonial from a lovely student. She purchased my cardiac pharmacology course and here is what she said about the antibiotics course. Thanks to your video, I get to really understand things. That way it's embedded in my freaking heart. <laughs> That's how you know she's my student. You cannot fake that. And mind forever and ever. Thank you again, doctor. Can't wait to start binging on these cardiac farm videos. Nobody is binging on Netflix anymore. It's all medicosis right now. There is no more Netflix and chill. Now we are talking about fever and chill. The antibiotics course is available on my website, medicosisperfectionalist.com. It has 40 videos. You can get a free sample of my cardiac pharmacology course available on my website. If you want to get the complete course, use the promo code CARDIOFARM50 to get a 50% discount. Some clinical pearls. Can you give me an example of a vitamin deficiency that can lead to another vitamin deficiency? Also, can you give me an example of a vitamin deficiency that can lead to a mineral deficiency? 
The answers are on the next slide, so please pause and try to answer them yourself. If you want to strengthen your memory, use your freaking memory. Here are the answers. Example of vitamin deficiency, this is the folate deficiency causing B1 deficiency. How about a vitamin deficiency that leads to a mineral deficiency? This is vitamin B2 deficiency causing iron deficiency and iron deficiency anemia. Thank you so much for watching. Smash like, subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. You can email me here. You can go to my website to get my courses here. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionals where medicine makes perfect sense.